So today I'm home. Um, I actually have four crazy dogs with me today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and edit my video. Um, I also have to do a little bit of voiceover. Um, I really wanna get it up today. So that is definitely my goal for today to get the video up and get it done. I also am gonna do a couple face masks. So it's kind of a relaxing day, but relaxing is never quite the word that I would describe when it comes to my days. I also feel like I currently look like Legolas from Lord of the Rings, but that's besides the point. I also have to wash my brushes. I have to wash, oh, I have so many brushes. Like I haven't washed my own personal brushes in a while. So I gotta do that. Um, yeah, just kind of a catch up day. Just trying to do as much as I can. Today it's Tuesday. I have an appointment on Thursday and then it is a weekend filled with holiday festivities. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Savannah, come on. All right, last one, last one. Do my makeup. I don't know. Why are you acting like this? Why aren't you helping me? Hi, my babies. Oh, and Riley dog. Riley dog. Help me type this. So the first palette we're gonna go in with is the Morphe Jack on Hill palette. So first we're gonna go in with this shade right here. This is gonna be our brow bone highlight. So applying that right underneath the brows and blending it down. Hi, Riley dog. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we got Riley Dog. Riley Dog. Is your name Riley? It is. You're such a messy little friend. You're such a messy little friend. Oh damn. You got an ish, girlfriend. Hi, honey. Can you get it? All right, so my new video is going up right now. I'm hoping it'll take like an hour or so so I can upload it tonight. Um, but while that is going, I think what I'm gonna do next is my face masks. I'll share with you guys the two that I'm gonna do today. I wanna do all my face masks before the weekend. We have Saturday, Sunday, Monday of doing things with family. So I wanna do all my face masks. We so I wanna do all my face masks this weekend. So I think the first one I'm gonna go in with. So I think I'm gonna do this one first. This one's by Dr. Paracone. This is the Chloroplasma. I actually bought this a while ago. I haven't used it in a while, but I thought I would just go through all my face masks and use them for Christmas. This one actually helps with um, minimizing your pore size and kind of exfoliate and everything like that. So I think I'm gonna do this one. This one's crazy because it looks like obviously like it's kind of like a like a you know creamy white but it has green beads in it so when you put it on the skin you have to break the beads open so then it makes the face mask green so as you can see in the jar it looks like this but when you put it on your face it's like this so you leave it on i think you leave it on for about five to ten minutes so i'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes wash it off and then we'll do the next one okay so that face mask is now off so i'm gonna go in with a new one this is the one that i i love this one as well it's the proactive skin purifying mask um, this is a really great one because you guys know I do suffer with acne and things like that. So proactive has always been my saving grace. So this is another really amazing product. It helps with acne and areas like that and helps with um, preventing future breakouts. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over. It actually tells you to leave it on for 10 minutes. So again, we'll put it on and I will rinse it off. Someone's under the Christmas tree. 
Savannah. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Savannah. Four dogs. We got one, two, three, and four. Penny. Oh, God bless you. This is your present. You don't know what it is. <laughs> So newest dilemma, we had ordered this gift from my uncle from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's like a wine thing. Hopefully Uncle Terry's not watching this. Um, and it said that it was coming today. Um, and I was really excited because so I'm like, okay, I'll wrap it and everything. And when I just refreshed the tracking information, it says it's not going to get here now till the 27th. Though it says on the information that it is on the vehicle for delivery. This is Anna returning the call. Okay, perfect. So thank you. Uh, my higher up spoke to someone at FedEx and they said it does say on, on the vehicle for delivery because they have multiple packages on this this um, vehicle. Okay. It's going to be delivered before the 27th. Okay. They just don't know what day. Okay. Because they got to get rid of all these packages off this one vehicle. So I'm just going to keep track of your order and see when it gets delivered. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for looking into it. You're welcome. Yes. If my phone rings one more time today, I'm gonna punch someone. And it's spam. Literally done. Decline. I need some wine. ASAP. So this is one of the things that I worked on all day today. My new video is officially hey guys, up. Welcome back. So today this. I'm going to be filming for you. My new video that I just filmed yesterday. I filmed it like or edited it like crazy today so I could get it up for you guys. Focus. Come on. Focus. 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 There we go. So this video just went up live. So go ahead and watch it if you guys didn't watch it. And these are the other ones that I put up recently. This is one that I did on my friend Ashley. So definitely go check that one out because that one turned out really, really nice. So uh, two new videos. There we go. Whenever there are police sirens, Savannah howls. It's hilarious. <laughs> so how about a little bit of a tour of the Landry Christmas tree I'm watching catfish I thought I would do a little tour so this is our Christmas tree for this year I think it is like pretty much perfect in shape so this year the tree is 17 feet I believe so it's a really really gorgeous tree a couple of really cool things that angel has been I think on every single one of our Christmas trees such a pain in the ass to get on. This is little me. I think that when we were in school, they made us do two things, of course, to please everybody. So our Christmas tree is on here somewhere. I'll find it. But this is the little dreidel that they did with my, I think that was like third grade or second grade. Maybe it was kindergarten. I think it was kindergarten, actually. Um, so that's my little dreidel. That is a picture or an ornament of my sister and I. It's on like a thick... Um, you know, like thicker, thicker ornament. It's one of our favorites. We always make sure it's right in the front of the tree. We also have all of our little dog ornaments, whether the dogs are with us or no longer here anymore. We always have little dogs on the trees, as you guys can see. They're kind of everywhere. Um, this is a little pamphlet of some of the dogs. We have another um, one of our labs back there. This is another one that I think, again, that was in 1998, so I was seven. Um, it's just a weird little frame. I don't even know what the heck it is. I guess it, I guess I did like a present. I really have no idea, but that was that ornament.
But yes, that is the Landry Christmas tree. I also do these every year. These are the carolers that freak me out just a little bit, but they're cute. And then our vast collection of snowmen, which you guys probably saw uh, before when I was giving out treats to all the dogs. I actually did a video this year of us bringing the tree in. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that in this video as well if you guys wanna see that. I think that'd be kind of cool for you guys to kind of see how this thing comes to be and how it gets in the house and everything, how we stand it up. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do that for the rest of this video so you guys can kind of see what it takes to put this tree up. The original video actually had Hanson Christmas music in the back, so I'll have to take that out. But yeah, I thought that'd be kind of cool. Everyone always asks me, it's the number one question, how do you get that thing in the house? It's us, we do it.